Hey guys, this is your girl Dee Dee Charles here, aka Deborah Charles, and I'm live in from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And today I want to welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel, and I appreciate you for stopping by. And um, today we're going to be talking about the five things that you can do when you want to just throw in the towel, when you want to throw your hands up and say, hey, I'm just tired of this. But before we get into that, let me uh, say this, that um, below this video, you will find some information that can help you um, with, uh, you know, some advertising or maybe some tools that you need in order to um, to help you along the way. And hit the uh, subscribe uh, button and do, just like and comment so that when I come on these videos and these lives that you will not miss the information that I'm getting. And if you find value, just leave a comment in the session below to let me know uh, what is if it's anything that you need me to advise you on or find information for you or provide information for you. I would be more than happy to do that, okay? So let's get on into this, uh, this information. Um, as I stated that I will be sharing with you these five things that you need uh, in order for you to um, move forward. You know, if you're stuck in your business, you can't move forward. You know, you're, you're tired, you're depressed, you're, you're uh, discouraged or whatever. You need some, some information that can help you. And so my number one thing is that you need to expect Ch struggles with your challenges and uh, challenges in your business. And what I mean by that, you know, all of us as entrepreneurs and as business owners often um, struggle in our businesses. You know, that's life. We're going to come across things that have us struggling and, uh, you know, kind of um, on the beaten path, you might say, but, um, these are, you know, you got to understand that these things come with life and in business. So you, you accept those, uh, challenges with good, good faith that they will, you know, you're just going through a fourth season. Okay. So like for myself to be transparent, I, uh, in the last couple of weeks, I have been, um, really having some challenges, but I chose to believe that these things, uh, are just coming to, uh, to me to make me stronger, to help me to be a better entrepreneur, a better person, and a better, um, uh, you know, a listener of, of things that I need to uh, tell you pay attention to in my business. So with that, the um, second thing you need to do is to um, hook up at, with other um, entrepreneurs who are like-minded, you know, people who share your same thoughts and ideas about building a business. You don't want to hang around people who are negative, who uh, can't encourage you to do, you know, if this is your dream, you know, you don't want those naysayers that come along and say, well, girl, I will leave this alone. A girl, you don't need to do that. But you need to hang around with people who are like-minded, who um, uh, can encourage you and even point out some of the things that they have struggled with and to uh, help you to become what you want to uh, aspire to do in your business. Uh, I know that I have uh, gained a lot of friends through uh, social media and they have given me great, great advice and, and you know, encouragement so that I can uh, withstand some of the things that, you know, that come my way. I, I understand that everything is just not going to fall into place overnight, but you have to build your, your, uh, your business like you would build anything else. And so the next thing is, is you need to revisit your why. Why are you in business? Why did you decide to, to, to do this thing? Why did you decide you want to, to fire your boss? And um, I would encourage you to look at it in, in this type of way, to um, not look at it as I want to make some money online, because if you just let that be your motivation, then, you know, what about those days when you don't feel like doing it, when things are going rough and when you just can't get it together and you just throw your hands up? What about those days? Let it be a solid um a why, uh, 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 something that you know that will uh, keep you motivated to get there. Now, we're not saying that you, it's not going to be uh, rough days and, and days that you know that you don't want to do it, but find the why as to what 
keeps you motivated? What keeps you up at night to two o'clock in the morning trying to find your, your, you know, do your emails and why, why I'm trying to connect with the, keep connection with these, uh, with your, um, leads and all of that. Find out why you want to do that. My why is, is that I want to spend more time with my family. I've been working since I was 16 years old doing in and odd jobs. Uh, I'm a full-time work, uh, uh, employee at this moment looking to, um, retire from that position in the next couple of months. But, um, I, I know that I have to keep mo myself motivated by, and looking at the why that why I want to do this. I mean, I make money on, on the job, but, you know, you want to have free time. You know, you work and you uh, feel tired. You don't want to do all of that extra stuff that you've been doing. So you want to build a business that's um, lucrative and that you and your family, can, you as a uh, entrepreneur can leave as a legacy for your children, maybe, if that's your why. And so the next thing you want to do, if you're having challenges, if you if you can't find people to connect with and you just don't understand what your why is, then, you know, hire you a coach, someone that can that has been there, that has done that, that knows that has been through the struggles, that knows how to communicate um, uh, effectively to help you to get on the course that you want to take. Uh, for example, I, I have great men, uh, great coaches. And along the way, I have had great mentors who have spoken to me about things that I didn't understand when I first got started. But I sure do appreciate the fact that they were there and they are there to help me to um, to get going. And that's what you want to do. You want to hire you uh, uh, some mentors and coaches. It's like, okay, if you were a person who uh, did mountain climbing and you had never did it before. So you want to, uh, get you a, a coach or, 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 um, a guide or someone that has actually climbed a mountain, not somebody that said, well, you know, I was thinking about climbing the mountain. So girl, why don't you go and get on the mountain, <laughs> go up the mountain, but you want someone there who, who has actually put their hand to the plow, who has been there and knows the ins and out of how to, to get to the top of that mountain and to help guide you there so that your ultimate goal of being a mountain climber will be uh, successful. Okay. And the last thing is you have to know your, you, you have to know, uh, and evaluate what tools you have. So many times as new um, entrepreneurs, we don't we don't know uh, when we come into businesses that there are things other than just you signing your name uh, on, on a, a, a thing to become a um, a entrepreneur. That that's it. But you, there are tools that you need to have in order for your business to first to to establish a business you have to have a system in place and then with that system there are other tools that you have to have in with that system to make it uh work you know you have your emails your auto responders and all of those things and i know it might be some people looking that don't understand what auto responders and things are and if that's being the case then you can just uh you know send me a message and we can uh, i can send you over some information about um how you get an auto responder what is a system what uh, and and i will also share the system that i'm using currently using to bring me um in income online. It's not um, uh, a hard process, but it's a process where you have to first um, uh, work on yourself, your mindset and your your uh, 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 co being coachable and, and want to learn all the things that uh, entrepreneurs do to establish themselves. When you find people uh, coming on and saying, well, you know, all you got to do is this, you have to work. You have to put a forth an effort, your best effort, because this is your business and you want to uh, establish yourself as the leader and as someone who is um, knowledgeable about the things that you share with the people it, that you are uh, you know, you are uh, your leads and things like that. OK, so 
And then the last thing, which is not one of my number fives, but it's sort of like a bonus. Don't allow yourself to become so focused on the problem. Don't focus on your problem. If I focus on all the things that I thought was wrong, what what been going on or has gone on, I would never uh, be here talking to you. But focus on uh, allowing yourself to see through those problems and find the opportunity to get mentored, get uh, 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 some uh, knowledge and more skill set, build your skill set. When you get frustrated, what I do is that I just kind of uh, stop what I'm doing that, that's frustrating me and get me a book uh, what my mentors normally uh, recommend. And I read those books to kind of get my mindset because sometimes we allow ourselves to become those limiting beliefs to be, become a part of us. And that they will kind of creep up and kind of keep us, you know, uh, saying, but I can't do this. Uh, this has gotten too hard and I'm just going to give up. But don't give up. Every last one of us who have ever decided to build an online business has gone through some challenges when we first got started. Some of us, you know, we, we still are in challenges. You know, it's, it's because you're learning new things over and over again. So those uh, uh, challenges is just only things to make you stronger, to uh, look at what it is that you need to uh, develop in and to get you going. Okay, so this has been Deborah. Charles, it has been a pleasure for me to come to you this afternoon and to give you these five little nuggets of how you can um, do, uh, you know, get going and don't throw in a towel and don't give up. Okay, so uh, like, uh, make sure that you hit the uh, button below and subscribe to my channel. And below also is uh, I have placed some. Um, Nuggets, not nuggets, not really nuggets, okay? I have <laughs> uh, placed some links there that will help you to, um, you know, move forward. Um, there's, uh, I have a link to uh, what I'm doing in my business there. And uh, in the, if you need anything, just uh, give me a, you no, know, hit me up on Facebook and uh, send me a message and I will be sure to get back with you and try to give you the uh, answer or either find the answer for you, okay? So this has been your girl, Dee Dee Charles, Deborah Charles down here in Pablo Farkas. So you guys have a great, great evening and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.